What do you think about doing this in this kind of weather? I think it sucks. <laughs> What do we got going now? Well, now we just dump it out. I'm gonna set this thing up where I can hose it out. Looks like there's some debris in there. We're gonna hose it out, and we're gonna show you how to finish wiping that out of there. That liner. So if you look in here, it's still got like this brown powdery coating on there. Typically I use Comet, but I don't have it. We're gonna try this stuff called Barkeeper Spray. And you just basically hose out with it. You might have to get you a little scraper thing. We use this board to knock off some of the remnants from the fire. Then once you get it about like that, you want to kind of drain it out some. The best thing to use for this part is Comet. This is Barkeeper's friend. It's not as coarse as that, but you just sprinkle it in there. It's kind of abrasive, you know? Like that. And then a nylon bristle car brush, which I don't have. This is what I found upstairs. We're gonna try it first. You can kind of see that turns to mud. You can see as I go, it's just kind of turning into bare metal there. You can also try a wire brush, if I happen to have one handy. that off and see what we got. There you go. You can see it, it just brings it right down. I can almost wipe it off by hand. But using that, using that powdered cleaner like that gets it down pretty close to bare metal. Just keep in mind, I mean, if it didn't come out with that big old crazy fire that we had on there and it doesn't come out with Comet and this brush, it, don't, it ain't gonna come out. So just go on ahead and go with it. If you want it to be bare metal, just sandblast. But in this case, I think this is pretty good. I'm happy with that. We've built a lot of them like that. We just finished that going all the way around the barrel. Now I got the barrel upside down and we're gonna kind of wet sand this yuck off of there. That's where the paint and everything was. There's a couple of things you can use. Of course, good old Scotch Bright works. We always keep a couple pieces of this around. This is actually a wet sanding block. It's for doing automotive. That's really fine grit, like 400 grit. Or if you want to get her done quick, you can use like, this is 80 grit. This is just a little hand sanding or disc for like an air sander. What you do when you're wet on metal is you wet sand it. So we're gonna wet this thing down with a mist of water. We're gonna take this and sand it just like that. And you just take the sandpaper and do that. For the most part, we're just gonna knock off the heavy stuff with this heavier grip first. Just go like that. Just 
So I went over the entire cooker with the heavy grit. This is 80 grit. I went over the whole thing. And the biggest goal with this is just to knock off the heavy surface bumps. You can kind of feel it. This is pretty darn smooth. So now we got these big scratches. You can go over it with scotch right now if you wanted, or you can hit it with one of these pads. Just depends on what kind of paint job you're going to try to do on it. But the goal is now is we're just going to try to get rid of any rough texture. So now we're just going to rinse all the all the stuff off of it. Just get it down to where there's no granules. Now what we got to do is we don't want this thing to rust up before we build our barrel. So we're going to try to dry it off. You can use a heater or something like a little salamander or you can just let it air dry, but you want to try to oil it down as soon as you can with like WD-40 or some kind of rust inhibitor or finish your build. So there you go. We got it down to bare metal. You can see some places where there's like some rust and stuff in here. Um, we did burn a really hot fire in here and uh, what's left in there now is just black spots and bare metal and maybe a couple of spots on the bottom where there might be a little bit of that liner left but if it didn't come out in that hot fire it ain't gonna come out in anybody's food I promise you that so hey you can sandblast it now on the inside or you can run some kind of wire wheel around it if you feel like it or just go with it either way there's no wrong answer so there you go that's how to clean a barrel